Hi crafters! Well welcome back to my channel Margaret Knob Designs. I am bringing you today our monthly uh, collaboration called Hashtag Christmas 365 and um, this month just like every month we are to work on a project um, that we want to have ready for Christmas time so we do Christmas all year long at least for one project a month and this month what I ended up doing was a project that I saw from another crafter and as you can see I've got several here I ended up using up my whole uh, pad I thought I had my cover oh yes I used um, well I used up the rest of my 6x6 Mega Pad for Home for Christmas by Cartabella. It was a great way to use my 6x6 paper. And um, this design idea uh, I know has been used in the past. The person that I saw who made these was um, Lyric Lover Crafts. And I thought this was such a cute idea because I often give gift cards for Christmas and I thought it was a nice way to do something a little bit extra. So what I'd like to do is to show you what I made. Um, the different pa the packets are all different that because of the papers that you do. Basically, each one of these is three six by six pieces of paper using your envelope punch board. And in order to um, know what size you need to go at is you're going to look at your paper size where it says six by six and um, make three envelopes so it's three six by six and then um, put them together what i'll do is is that um if you take a look it's it's not that long ago it's pretty recent from uh, her uh, tutorial for this so take a look at her um her uh, youtube site it's called lyric lover crafts and she's got a really good tutorial for that and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy making these for your gift cards for Christmas so let's take a look at the different uh, pockets I made I'm not going to open all of these I'll open up a couple of them so you can see how they all work together basically what ends up happening is you have a, a envelope here an envelope here and an envelope here so my idea is is that if I use these for uh, work gifts I'll do maybe a five dollar gift card in here a note in here and then I'll probably put a lottery ticket in there because I think that's kind of a fun gift for a dollar and that's what it looks like on the back um, there is one cut that you need to make which is this here where you're going to cut off um, the flap on that one and you know I suppose you could probably cut this one off too but usually I think it works pretty well I think it looks really cute with it all um, put over the other thing that's nice is is that you can most of the time just put your ribbon back on most of the time <laughs> and uh, it just goes back together like that so here is another design that I did And you can see I used all different kinds, different patterns, put them together different ways. One of the things that I will tell you though is that if you use a pattern paper, the way to make your envelope is to make this upside down. Like you're going to start it out upside down and then when you make the cuts or putting it together, you put it together upside down and then you'll get your uh, pattern to go right side up. I know it sounds somewhat contradictory, but it does work because my first ones didn't. <laughs> and then I've got this little one. I've got some other different strings coming up. Got used some of this red string that I had. It's a stretchy string. And the first, some of the first ones I did, I used the black and white buffalo check. I actually like this uh, string on here even better but um, I only had so much of it to be able to use at the time so we've got these oops that's upside down and you know you could add uh, little bells onto here or um, other kinds of little tags or some kinds of metal designs uh, would be cute on there as well 
And what's really nice about these, though, too, is that they, um, you know, if you use the different pattern papers, it actually looks good. As long as the collection is, matches and everything goes together well, um, you know, the designs mix really well. Like, look at that. I love the way that one looks. And then we've got this one. And that's our simple collaboration or Christmas 365 today. But I have one more thing to show you. Remember how I told you that on these um, I had to cut off the one of the flaps when I was putting it together for, um, I think it's on the front side here. And so I saved all those flaps. And what I ended up doing was taking my hexagon punch and I put all my hexagon pieces together and made one card. <laughs> so these are all leftover pieces from my um, from my envelopes and I was able to make a card that I thought turned out pretty cute. And I put a strip of washi tape inside there to dress that up a little bit and a nice Merry Christmas card. So that's my collaboration for today. I hope you guys like this and um, I hope that you're getting ready for Christmas too and have, having fun crafting. So I will see you for sure in the next month of hashtag Christmas 365. Thanks so much. Have a great day.